Okay guys, I'm just making a video of how to train Pokemon and beat the Elite Four as many times as you want. It really helps to have a Zorark and a Fighting type. Let me readjust the camera. It's not... Well, I guess that's the best. Make sure you have the fighting type in last. And the Zorark in first. And then the psychic type will be super easy to beat. I use pass power to help. Don't use any status condition moves on this. She won't be able to hit you if you keep the illusion ability safe. Now this is actually my Zorark right now, if you haven't noticed. Keep, they keep trying to use Psychic type moves. It's in Headbutt and Psychic, for example, are the most to use by her. Grass tries to use Zen headbutt. Zen headbutt. My Zorark is trained for special attack. And the hope is that she won't use any moves that give you status conditions or anything. But she usually doesn't. The only one that she likes to use is Hypnosis, and I already killed that one. I'm training two Pokemon at the same time. And Flatter is the one that she likes to use with this, which is really annoying, because it confuses you. I don't know why this camera isn't staying still. Oh, one health left, of course, and she uses Flatter. Just hope that you don't hurt yourself. If you do hurt yourself, she won't it won't wear off the illusion. Just keep attacking until you kill it. 
Hopefully this will hit it too. Wow, that was really good luck. Usually I get bad luck and I hit myself every single time when I'm confused. Eight thousand for Zorark and five thousand for Chandelure. That is why I use experience power times three. Psychic, and this is her last Pokemon, I believe. I'll probably stop the video here because I have to go after this. But I'll show you the rest on, for the other people in a separate video. I can get through the Elite Four a lot faster than most people can. Time to show you one more. If not, I'll just I'll save right here. And if I have to get off, I'll end the video and just turn the power off. And then I'll start where I left off. Okay, the ghost type. Let's see. And uh, let's do the fighting type next. I can get through them really fast. I, rec I recommend a psychic type for sure. I like Mewtwo because he knows Aura Sphere and that can take out his sock and um, sock and throw into hits because they both have sturdy. Ghost is the one that takes me the most time to get through. Because some of her Pokemon are faster than mine. All my Pokemon are level 100 that I have with me, except for Zorark and Chandelure. He likes to use Fake Out. If you have a level 100 fighting type, the fighting type, or the psych. The dark type is really easy to get through. Oh, critical thing. Now he's going to use a full restore. That's the garage, if you can hear that. I wish I could stop the video and start it again, but this camera can't do that. I'd have to stop and then start a new one. I don't know for sure if Throw has this, so I'll try just for once. I'll try this. I've never tried this move before anyway, so I want to see what it does. Uh, 
Oh, that's cool. It doesn't have sturdy. Good. I never knew that. I just assumed it did. Yeah, you don't want to use a physical move on this guy. And that's the lawnmower. I have to go. Let's see. I might be able to finish this. Yeah, this is his last one. I'll take it out and then end the video. Well, there you go. That's the first half of the video. I'll show you the next half next time.